it feel like to be put in cyber violence when you're in 13? Fear? Frustrated? Depressed? Tell you what, the 13 years old me had it all. The fear when I open my phone and see those comments popping on. Words full of violence and the sound of new messages unstoppable. I feel like I can't breathe. At that time, I feel like I was on a small boat in a storm. And each time I find my balance to response back, a bigger wave comes to pull me into the water. Hundreds of thousands of messages with harmful words drowning me in frustration. I have nothing to do with the people doing online violence to me. And over a thousand of people saying different violent words at me. And all I can do was just keep responding to the phone, try to explain that what I liked was not bad at all. I was shocked, but more confused. Why are they doing this? New messages were still coming in, where it's like, why don't you change your nationality to Japanese? China doesn't need you. Or, please get out of China. Or, is there something big wrong with your brain? The harmful words and comments then pull me into depressed. It was like a huge hand cover in my eyes made me think that what I like was wrong, and I was wrong, and I shouldn't even live. Just because a single hobby I enjoyed it? Well, when I was 13, my friend and I supposed to went to an event that people who like comics, animates, and games will <clears throat> come together and have fun. I prepared so much for this event, and it was canceled. Why? Because people reported saying that it's insulting China. Well, it was sad. Then I saved my phone with one of new messages. I click and see what happened. And here was when I realized that because of this little thing, I enjoyed it. I had been put in cyber violence. And by that time, people used the most harmful language on me. I was only 13 years old. I still remember that the summer in that time was hot. What I feel was cold and afraid. <clears throat> the words full of violence didn't go away. And I can't stop reading those words. And there was no single message going against the violence comment. I, I can't take this anymore. The day after, I deleted everything related to my hobbies on TikTok and changed my phone number so I can finally stop seeing those words from those people who I don't even know who they are. After that, my life was flipped upside down. Before, I was a person who liked to communicate, wants to make new friends, always talking to people, and went to places full of people to have fun. After. I became someone who was shy, shy to talk to anyone, afraid to communicate. I think that everyone hates me. Each time those people look at me, I will try to walk away. I'm afraid if they will turn to the people in the cyber violence. But when does this start? Not even I know. Doing everything so carefully was not like me. But I can't change it. Even walking on the road will make me feel afraid. And cyber violence? even made me start to be afraid of what I like. I start to feel bad when I watch comics because of the trauma cyber violence gives me. I try to find help when I was in cyber violence, but nobody really cared about this, and they think that it's not a big deal. What they say was, oh, just don't care what those people say. But what I feel was cyber violence was like reading through a book or a story. If you read a sad story, then you feel sad. People will even cry when they read. And if you read a funny story, then you laugh. Same with the violence words. It can transform feelings to people. And the wor if the words are violence, then the people reading it will not just not care about the violence comments. I mean, you'll not feel nothing when you read a book, isn't it? Cyber violence use words to transform feelings to people. And when the words are violence, it can hurt the people like a knife and even hurting them by letting them reading those harmful comments. Well, nobody really cared. They think that anyone can fight back from cyber violence, if it's is cyber, like it's online. But even if in 2024, nobody still care about this cyber violence problem, and they think that it's not a big deal at all. But it is a big deal. Cyber violence is a problem that can be harmful. What's even worse is that when nobody cares about this problem, it would just get worse. Even if I did find help, it still doesn't help me because how people don't care this problem. 
and it made me feel worse. And even there's someone that did care, they don't know how to help. And it ended up with me walking through this hardly by myself, alone. I try to tell myself that it's not my fault and try to get back to social. But all I need was just someone to pull me out from the cyber violence. And for those people that want to help, here's a solution. All you need to do was just pull them out from the cyber violence. Just tell them that it's not their fault. People in the cyber violence might think they're wrong because too many people, thousands of hundreds of them, keep on harming one person saying that it's their fault. So if nobody come and say that it's not their fault, they really think and they really feel bad with it. But when people did help them and come to, their, and come to stand by them and say, hey, it's not your fault, it's there. It can be so powerful that they're saying don't care. If I'm watching back right now in this time, when it was the time when I was in cyber violence, I don't even think that it's my fault. I would think that those people were super stupid. But in that time when I was really in, I really think I'm wrong. And this is how it helps. To pull someone out from cyber violence only need a second person to tell them that what happened, and it's not their problem. For people who get drowned in cyber violence and can't get out, all they need was simply just a rope to pull them out. It is hard for them to walk out by themselves, but it could be a powerful to have a friend or family member to help them go through this. And for now, my life was changed by cyber violence. I still have a hard time to communicate to people. Well, like, if I'm in a restaurant and I want some tissues, it's still hard for me to communicate with the people over there. Instead, I'll just get it by myself in the end. I still have that trauma that cyber violence gave me, and I still feel bad even right now. The cyber violence was there and will be there forever. In the stage of internet, over 60% of people using online devices or apps has been in cyber violence. Each year, those people can't go through this in suicide. And for kids, it can be worse. I was hoping that if I, if I could change something, if I can change the situation, if I can change the thoughts that people think about cyber violence, if I can change the thinking of people in cyber violence before or now. And that's why I'm here, to let people care a problem that what they think was small.